my battery is dying like me inside hey guys what's going on and welcome to my channel so for today's video i am going to be doing a lip swatch of the brand new flower beauty miracle matte liquid lip now this is newly launched in india so i am super excited this was launched worldwide i think i don't know worldwide or not but in the united states about like a year back and it is finally launched in india so thank you so much to flower beauty and nika and second of all i am so excited for this video one because it is new makeup two is because it's created by drew barrymore i mean she's the queen of rom-com like who doesn't love her first i fell in love with her was et she was so cute and then second is 51st date never been kissed wedding singer charlie's angels who doesn't remember charlie's angels and then scream she is iconic and third i'm so excited is because it is matte liquid lipstick so the miracle matte liquid lip has about 12 shades they offer 12 beautiful shades however i picked out only four of them because for my skin tone i want to pick out only those shades which will be flattering for me and i can use them unlike lighter shades or darker shades which i may never ever ever wear so that's why i picked out only four shades and let me tell you i am so proud of myself for picking out the perfect shades which you will see in some time so i picked out four shades for myself and this one is rosewood this one is soft berry and this one is scarlet letter and the last one is merlot kiss so these are the four shades that I picked out for myself. Now before we can jump right into the product details and the swatches, do not forget to subscribe to my channel as well as like the video. Alright, so like I mentioned earlier that they do come in 12 beautiful shades. As of now it's sold only on Nykaa and uh, this is priced at 965 Indian rupees for 5 grams of product now when i saw on the us website they offer for nine dollars so when you convert it it comes close to about 636 indian rupees give or take let's just say 640 indian rupees so that is about 300 rupees more than how much to sell it in united states so the price point is a little bit higher but when you compare it to other brands uh, they have hiked up their price almost double the amount of how much they sell it for like i have seen brands which uh, in the united states when you convert it it's for like uh same nine dollars or ten dollars like 700 rupees but over here they sell for 1200 or 1400 indian rupees which is almost double the pricing of how much they sell it over there so when you compare that 300 rupees hike is okay but still it is a bit pricier so this price point i feel is like a mid-range it's not affordable i don't call it luxury as well so it's right slapped in the middle so that's just my personal opinion on that so that's so that's that about the price point let me quickly go over with the features it says that it's a vivid colored liquid lipstick it's soft cushiony matte finish does not make the lips feel dry and they are also cruelty free so that is amazing so for the packaging it is nice pretty and elegant it comes in a nice white cap along with the gold rim and the gold flower detailing and the logo is also as well as in gold so it looks nice pretty elegant and simple at the same time so that is that about the packaging and now for the fun part and these are the lip swatches which i had filmed in natural lighting which could be easier for you guys to choose if you wanna so here we go
All right, so those were the swatches of the beautiful, beautiful liquid lipsticks. I truly love all the shades. I am so happy with the ones that I had picked out. And let me tell you this. For me, the reason why I chose these is because I do go for a normal day job. And for me, these two shades will be perfect on a day-to-day -day basis. And that is Softberry and Rosewood. And now to Scarlet Letter. Oh my freaking god. This is such a beautiful true red kind of a shade. I feel this is so similar to Ruby Woo like shade wise and it is so universal. I am sure if you are light, medium or darker skin tone this will look so freaking beautiful. And also just wear like a normal probably like a white t-shirt a just general eyeliner mascara as well as some kajal with this lipstick you will look bomb af no joke you will so this is such a beautiful shade probably i'll keep it for anytime i'm going out which i don't that much but just if i do then this will be it and that's what i'm wearing on my lips right now so that's that and merlot kiss it is such a beautiful berry tone shade which I do not kind of gravitate towards much like that's not like my first preference if you see my lip collection there will be a bajillion number of these kind of shades but when it comes to these shades these are kind of like the last things like I like them but they're the last ones that I would pick out so I do love them like these kind of shades but just not my first choice you know so now coming to the texture and how this liquid lipstick feels now this liquid lipstick is by far the most light, comfortable, does not dry out my lips whatsoever kind of a liquid lipstick. Like I have worn so many from so many. I have worn so many liquid lipsticks from uh, MAC, then from uh, Kat Von D, then Jeffree Star, then from NYX, Nika, everything. But this by far is the most lightest but at the same time the most opaque lipstick i have ever worn on my lips and even when it comes to transfer proof initial application yes there was a bit of transfer like you've seen earlier but right now i'm wearing the shade scarlet letter for the last three and a half hours and it is still beautiful i just had a cup of coffee and uh, the, there was a little bit transfer there but right now there's like almost nothing and uh, but then if I have like a heavy meal or dinner or lunch or anything as such then I'm sure this will just go off so that's that so I just wanted to quickly mention that I did get uh, a free lipstick along with this purchase and uh, this is the flower beauty again uh, the precious pout lipstick in the shade berry more and this is the shade which is so freaking pretty so this is how the shade looks and this is like the worst swatch in swatch history but yeah this is how it looks so that is it for today's video you guys i hope you all enjoyed it if you did do not forget to subscribe to my channel click on the like and comment down below if you have any request i'll try my best to do that for you guys as well as do not forget to follow me on my socials which is it's nishanayar on instagram and it's nishanayar on twitter as well so until the next time, take care. Bye. So this is a little on the lower end. Why did I just do that?